Knock, knock. Don't bother. She's not in the mood for jokes. Your results are great. Minimal plaque. Your heart is strong. Oh, thank you. That's such good news. Well, keep taking your medication. You'll outlive all of us. That is David Pevsner in one of his many network TV roles as a doctor. He has done it all in 35 years. TV, movies, Broadway, off-Broadway. There is also a whole side of his career that we cannot show you this morning. David joins us now to talk about his new book, Damn Shame, a memoir of desire, defiance, and show tunes. And thanks very much for waking up so early with us because you're in LA right now. So what time is it for you? <laughs> Oh, it's almost six o'clock in the morning. Oh, almost six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> really no, you look great. You look great. Um, actually, Thank image you. is is a huge part of your book um, because it's as as you, as we all age, right? Um, as you age, you found that um, you know the relationships just weren't happening. The attraction just wasn't happening for you. Well, I, I found that it was more difficult to kind of break through that kind of judgment about age you know that you get to be a certain a certain age and suddenly people don't seem to want you anymore but that was in my head and I kind of made a decision to kind of go no I, I don't I'm not going to be redundant I'm not going to let that happen so and, and um, tell us what the turning point for you was for that I don't know if there was a specific turning point I think I mean it actually goes back even when I was in you know my 30s where um i had to grow a beard for a show and i was on tour and suddenly like i wasn't attractive to people because back then um everybody was shaved and muscular and shiny and i couldn't seem to meet guys until i kind of found my own tribe on the road kind of like the leather daddy oriented things and i kind of realized that like if you want to stay active and relevant you kind of have to look at yourself and find out what you like and and you know engage it's when you stop engaging it's when you when you decide you're done that you're done <laughs> So. And, and, and your whole book is, is about kind of turning on its head the shame over sexuality, over body image, over, over aging. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, ever since I was a little boy, I, you know, I was really skinny. Um, I didn't have a lot of confidence. Um, I was funny and gregarious, but I, I just didn't, you know, I knew that there was something different about me being gay. So I didn't, I had girlfriends, but I wasn't quite as engaged as I would like to have been. And I just found that, like, I, I had all this lack of confidence and self-esteem that kind of built over the years. So when I started working out, I felt a little bit better about myself on the outside, but I had a lot of work to do on the inside. So, you know, it's, it's, it's been a lifelong journey dealing with this body shame and sexuality issue because, you know, society is not very kind to um, us gay people, or at least back then, we had to stay closeted, we had to stay quiet. And I, you know, it's been years since I've been closeted and quiet, Lord knows. But um, I don't want other people to feel that way. You and know? you want to give a voice to people. I, I absolutely do. Not just guys my age, anybody, you know, older who feels redundant, but but also just, you know, I have learned, I, and I wish I could tell people this right to their faces, confidence and self-esteem. Those are the things that are sexy, that make you feel good about yourself, that get things done in this world. Oh, my God, I wish I had the confidence back then that I have now. Not cockiness. But confidence. Confidence. And and we should let people know this is a very, very graphic book. Um, graphic photos, graphic storylines. But I'm so glad that I read it because it really, really spoke to me ab about the confidence. And, and, and I love the show tunes that you wrote in there about your well, life that, and about your experiences. It's just a lighthearted way of dealing with things. Well, that's the thing. I think a lot of people kind of look at me a little bit as an enigma because I've got that kind of sexual kind of graphic side. But I'm also like this little show tune singer. I like to think the book is funny. I, I'm very I'm very much a sentimentalist. I'm very, you know, OK, David, we, we've got to let you go. But Damn Shame is the name of the book and it's out now. Thank you for joining us today.